What's going on YouTube? Today we are in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Yo. Too, he came up out the kitchen. Yo, I was shook. All right, right now we are in Riverside Market and they have a lot of clothes that they're selling and a lot of foods, dried fish, so you can smell it here. But there's a lot of locals here, so I like the vibe. <laughs> Dried sausages and dried fish. Oh no, after seeing that rat, we had to get up out of there. So I see these street food stalls over here. Let's see if we can get some food to eat real quick. So in Cambodia, they have their own local money, but they also take American dollars. And you can get American dollars from the ATM here too. One dollar, one shake. Trying to be brave and eat at the food stands out there, but we need some AC. <laughs> we couldn't make it. We couldn't even order a drink without sweating. So I think there's some restaurants right up here that we're gonna try out. place to eat. No AC but they have the fans blowing on them so we're good. I can't really tell you the name of it because it doesn't have a name. It's like three different restaurants that are all next to each other and they just made one menu. So whatever you order, if you order pizza, you get it from the pizza place. If you order a burger, they have an American place. And if you order something like what April got, you get it from their kitchen. But the food looks really good. Very hot. Carbonara pizza, you guys. This is really good. I've never even seen somebody make this pizza. It's a good idea. Pineapple fried rice. Really? Mm -hmm. Albanara, the pasta is very popular. I feel like since I came here, almost every country has carbonara pasta. So the fact that they put it on pizza, <laughs> It's smart. Mm-hmm. And it's really good too. Yeah. It captures the essence of the pasta itself. Like yeah. How it's light, cheesy, creamy. With the onions on it too. Mm -hmm. Fried rice life though. I still think number one is Bali. The nasi goreng. That was good too. The rice that we had in Malaysia. Yeah. But Bali holds number one in terms of fried rice. Yeah. Nasi goreng was really good in Bali. That's like one of the top foods I've tried 
Hmm. If you had to rank your top foods, what would you say? Philippines! <laughs> well, what? In the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Ginataang crab, which is like the crab in like curry sauce. That's good. Yeah. Philippines. I eat a lot of tilapia. Yeah. That's got to be one of my top. You can eat that like every meal, every day. Yeah. Really. Yeah. The lechon. Lechon. The ever since we went lechon. to yeah, ever since we went to Cebu, I've been craving it. Mm -hmm. They don't make it like as good anywhere else in the Philippines. What else? There's Mang a lot in of Nassau. Sinigang, Mang in Shoot. Even just lumpia alone. Ban for ban. All the egg rolls. The Philippines number one. <laughs> There's so much. There's, Philippines has so much to offer. Yeah. Ranging from appetizers all the way to entrees, all the way to dessert. I'm still, till this day, haven't tried like a national dessert that goes with hollow hollow. Like, Not even mango sticky rice? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm, that's tough. You're right. Mango sticky rice looks good. Yeah, and you like those roti pancakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From Thailand. <laughs> yeah. Dang, babe. Their desserts were good, huh? Well, you know another good thing I ate? Five guys. Bruh. <laughs> we had five guys in Malaysia. They have a five guys in Malaysia, and I had to go to it. The only difference is they don't have bacon, so you can't get a bacon cheeseburger. But it tastes just like Five Guys from the States. I used to work at Five Guys. That's true. <laughs> and then our, um, the person that checked us out was impressed that yeah. Josh worked at Five Guys. But I had their strawberry milkshake. It tasted honestly fresher than fresher. one of the States. Yeah. You can tell they use like, it's like a preserved, like, yeah. it's like fresh. They're big on having fresh ingredients. So. Mm -hmm. so guys, after our um, lunch, we started walking around because I wanted to see if they had any waxing places in the area. So we came across one that does all waxing massages and all beauty. So we're here, Josh is gonna get a foot massage. And I got a little envious, so I wanted to do one too. Well, I get a wax as well. We are finished with our massages, and we just found a random like supermarket, so we came in here. Sometimes it's kind of cool to see like what, groceries. yeah, exactly what groceries other places had and how they sell their foods and what's popular and stuff like that. So we just walked through here and see if anything looks good for the hotel later tonight. There's so many different fresh meats and stuff like local meats in in here and sausage. I saw sausage, chicken, beef, bacon, believe it or not, everything. Now they got appliances. Yeah. April got a shopping for a rice cooker a in Cambodia. Rice cooker. Grandma had this. Cooking for an army. Yeah. Those are good ones. You know, some people have uh, rice cookers that are built into their house and like it fills it up with water and rice every day, like a coffee maker almost. That's cool. <laughs> I don't want that in my house. Noodle fans, they got all the noodles. I never heard of this one right here. Nori seaweed? Texas tenderloin steak. 
Brazil barbecue pork ribs. Two in one lays. That sauce is really good though. Them things probably hitting. You get an allergic reaction. I know. You just gotta look and see what looks good. Like, ooh, that looks good. Let me give you guys an example. Mm -hmm. Put something that looks good. I don't even know what that is, but it looks good. You guys have to see what I found in the state. I think it's Korean. It's a Korean ice cream, but I love these bars. And I've never seen it like a actual cup of ice cream, but try it. And it's so cute. Yeah. It's so little. You guys, we got a tuk-tuk. For free, our hotel will give you a tuk tuk to the city center or to the pub street, which we're going to pub street for free. So we take a quick ride with this natural AC, and we'll show you guys what pub street is all about here and see him read. So you know, just like most of the other countries, it's people trying to sell you something. The biggest one here really is tuk-tuk. So like you get out of your tuk-tuk and another tuk-tuk driver will look at you and say, tuk-tuk? <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm good, I just got here. But I've noticed they're the biggest hustlers that's like, they gonna be on you, the tuk-tuk drivers I was telling them, yeah. See them people with them fish? They had a feet in there with the fish biting on their feet. Yeah, we might have to do that. We might have to try that. I'm trying to see what that's talking about. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Peace <laughs> sign. <laughs> so cool the people here are really so friendly like these have to be some of the friendliest people that i've met and they're not shy so like they want to get on the vlog so that's really cool thank you guys shout out to you guys that were in the video and that subscribed to us <laughs> so earlier when we were walking around then we came across the fish experience where they nibble on your feet on your dead skin so i think we're gonna be trying it out tonight so for three us dollars you get to do the fish experience and get a beer or a water to go along with it so let's check it out Fish is like attacking my feet. It feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop. Put your feet back in there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
do nothing to make me do this by myself. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm trying to This focus. was your ID. I... <laughs> These fish are vicious on my feet right now. Oh my goodness. It's like the iCarly episode where they were eating the dead skin off their feet. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They on April feet more than mine though, just FYI. Psych! Psych! <laughs> All the big fish are on you! <laughs> Alright, we're going to the So these fish that are biting our dead skin off us are called lapyan fish. Lapyan. And they have like small little teeth and you can feel them nibbling. Yeah, it's pretty crazy feeling. I got my feet out because it feels weird. I can only do like a minute at a time and then I'm like, oh, it's too much. They all go to my feet too. I don't know what they're trying to say, but they all go to my feet. How'd you like it? Good, my feet are baby smooth. If you're ticklish, don't do it. <laughs> it's very, like, I was so tickled the whole time. Y'all gotta play music. Yes, music. You can play. One, two, three, go. Came back. Oh yay! Ten minutes, but the lights came back on as soon as we got over here and got some food. So. Might as well eat this food and then go back over there, see what's going on. Uh, what kind of beer do you have? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Look at these little seeds. They got me in these little kid seeds, y'all. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Five? Four. What? Nine. Nice. Like good. Three. Four. One. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. Nine. No. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. <laughs> there you go, good job. There you go. My guy over here really sitting over here chilling with us while we eat. Having a whole conversation. He's four years old having a whole conversation with me pretty much in English. It's pretty cool. And he's very smart. He is very smart, yeah. We counted all the way to 10. He's showing me everything. He told me his mom is right here. He's a cool kid. Say hi. You gotta say something, man. Say hi. Say hey. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Alright, look. Say, say hi. Say hey, wave hey. What's up, my friend? Wow! We ended up getting some pho. So that's what we're going to be eating for dinner. I'm really feeling this meal right now, so I'm excited to 
eat this food and we'll let you know what it tastes like when we get done. Little dude took my plate for me. He took my plate and put it away. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. He just want to be the cameraman so bad. He don't want to be in front of the camera. He just want to be the cameraman. I respect it. I feel you, bro. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, the fan. You said, where that fan at? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, like he just worked a double. <laughs> What an excellent meal. Like that's like my favorite part of traveling right there. Yeah. Like, having a meal like that with the locals, the kid made it that much better is amazing. That's what I do this for, for real. I felt like Anthony for a day. Not for real. In the little seats though, I did feel like well, I'm really, I'm really a traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole meal was 29, roughly 29,000. I think it's pronounced Rails. K-H-R. You guys, what an amazing day we had today in Cambodia. I feel like we really lived like the locals, so mission accomplished for me, to be honest with you guys. Did you have a good time? I had an amazing time. Like, from the moment we woke up to tonight's dinner, everything was Everything great. was perfect. Yes. Thank you guys so much for viewing this video. Don't forget to leave us a like, leave us a comment of something that you'd like to see in the future, like somewhere that you'd like to see us go. We'll really go there if you guys say, hey, you should go to blah, blah, blah. We'll go there. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, you guys. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you guys. And for daily updates, don't forget to follow us on social media. Our Instagram links will be in our bio. Peace.